Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, September 29. We have made great leaps of, of progress on the 1949 13 and a half foot Lyman Ninny Fish, or actually John has. Um, the transom components are fully fabricated and uh, have been stained and we're in the process of varnishing all the interior components of framing and, and the transom blank itself before installing it. We uh, have flipped her and John is now engaged in fairing the, uh, fairing the strakes and I'll hand it over to him. Well, when I started fairing, I didn't want to get any of the fairing compound down in the, along the edges and make that difficult to sand, so I taped off each and every lap straight. Um, and then, of course, it's sanded so that the nails are all exposed, and I'm fairing it in so that it's all nice and smooth, and we got nice, crisp, clean edges again along the boards. Um, so, now I'm, after I Take that all off and I put the fairing compound on. I started sanding it and quickly realized I have to take and sand the edges of the lap strakes and then peel the tape off before I sand the flats on the lap strakes because if I sand into the tape it makes it very difficult to come off. So I've been sanding the edges of the lap strakes and peeling the tape back out and I have one seam left to do on that and then I'll be sanding the Filler, premium filler, flat. And then we we uh, released the splash boards and why don't you talk a little bit about the process of reinstalling them. Well, we, re we released these splash rails because they were loose and they get water in between them and we didn't want a bad seal in there when we get the bottom painted because all that does is allow water to get in and allow it to mold and rot. So we released the splash rails and of course the uh, screws were all rusted off, so every screw that was in the splash rail had broke back off. Um, I noticed then that the lap strakes were screwed right behind, right next to the screws that were put in. The lap strakes were also screwed into the um, frame supports inside, right through the lap strakes into the frame support inside. So I took them screws out and put in long screws and screwed right into the frames. I 5200 them in place and uh, screwed with long screws into the frames. Them are now on there and sealed and in good shape. And I have to go over and fill, fill the holes in before I paint it. Uh, the keel, I had taken the keel out and the old keel was um, in fairly rough shape. So I took and built a new keel. Um, the old keel varied from an inch and three sixteenths to inch and five sixteenths. This keel here, I made it inch and five sixteenths. I supported the boat where the hog was in the boat, and then refastened the keel with fifty two hundred uh, back onto the boat, which is now good and sturdy and uh, doesn't have any hog in the boat now. That's why I'm moving the camera around and giving everybody a headache, but if we sight down, let's see if I can get us into a position where we can see it, uh, sight down this keel now, it is absolutely straight. The hog is gone. We haven't even installed the new keelson yet, uh, which will happen after we've finished painting the bottom. Uh, John, what, our last step down here will involve uh, sealing the the seams between yeah, the strakes we'll, with. We'll take the 5200 and we'll seal in between these lap, not in between, but we'll seal these lap strakes right here along the edge of these where they could possibly leak through the lap strake to lap strake. But if we put a 5200 seal on every seam, uh, we should avoid any problems there. Well. That's where we are on Wednesday, September 28th uh, on the Ninny Fish Project. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.